Hi, I'm Mike. I'm standing here with Dave Thomas with the GoTo Conferences and User Group Series. Uh, he's here in Chicago to do some scouting. I don't, I can't say anymore. But uh, we wanted to take a moment and uh, and give Dave a chance to talk about the GoTo Group and what exactly you guys are looking to do. What our conspiracy? Is yeah. What is the great conspiracy to go to? So, uh, quite a few years ago in Denmark. Uh, small company, Tri-Port, uh, couldn't, couldn't afford to send all their really talented people to the U.S., to the uh, uh, top U.S. conferences. So they, uh, they, they when they started, of yeah. course, they all five of them yeah. flew, but now it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a, just couple, cheaper. a couple of hundred. So, yeah, cheaper uh, to have your own conference. That, so, so they basically decided they have their own conference, and they realized that this was actually pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. And so they said, well, maybe we can uh, share that with the, the community in Arnos in uh, Denmark, which is a fairly small town actually and uh, so for the last 15 years uh, what used to be called the Yao Conference or J-A-O-O is the way we would say oh, okay, it that's, yeah. um, uh, was born and uh, I got involved with them about seven years ago uh, I did a keynote and that uh, turned into a uh, did, you again, did, 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 turn, did you know you were going to get married to the conference? <laughs> no I didn't but the big, the big thing we like about the conference is that it has a completely independent program committee, and uh, so that the vendors can uh, screw with the content. Right. right. In a sense, it's raw text. We want to have the best speakers and uh, a very simple system for voting. If you, maybe some people have been to a QCon, but basically, because uh, that's part of the uh, QCon San Francisco okay. is, uh, and QCon London are part of the series of conferences run by GoTo Conferences, and as, it, as well as the Yao Conference in Australia, which I actually run. And so, I, I think it's really interesting that you're working, you're trying to avoid sponsorship entanglements, and I use the word entanglements a little well, bit well, purposefully. A, yeah, so the, the first time we, we uh, tend to do the conference in the area, uh, mm -hmm. the large traditional sponsors uh, typically sort of go, hey, you know, yeah. you know, you know, what do you mean you don't want, you know, Billy Bob, our, yeah, you know, exactly. the, you know, our, our chief evangelist, <laughs> yeah. probably the ones to do that. And uh, so it's usually a, you know kind of a rough time the first time mm -hmm. out, but um, uh, then they find out that the developers really vote with their feet. So right. basically, the idea between uh, you know behind the whole conference series is basically just to have great speakers mm -hmm. that you typically wouldn't get in your community. Um, you know, you, and, you know, not that every community has great speakers, right. certainly. Right. You know, Lots of great people. Chicago, yeah, we don't, Chicago. not too shabby, but uh, no, you got lots, and so I, and I many, many are good friends of mine. So, um, but the idea is to make a kind of unique event uh, so that people can actually see the speakers and uh, interact and network in their community. And uh, we've been, and we now run it in uh, Amsterdam, uh, Copenhagen, Aarhus, Denmark, uh, as QCon in London. In San Francisco, as Yao in Australia, and uh, th this year in uh, Prague as well. And uh, if everything goes well, we'll be uh, here in <laughs> Chicago yeah. in 2013. We're actually just uh, here uh, looking at venues. We're uh, uh, looking to kick off with, a, with, 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 yeah. with uh, uh, our first go to night. Mm -hmm. And what we try and do is basically work with the user groups to see what, what user group, what speakers they want to do, since we're really. Uh, you know, the, the key thing is to complement the user groups are really the people who don't drive the right. things in the community and so uh, find out what sort of speakers they want and uh, given that we feed that to our PC and they decide and then we you know, we always have to try and get some sponsors to pick up the tab for the speakers. Do you so, go with the uh, user groups because they tend to be and I'm, yeah, this might be kind of a leading question but they tend to be kind of the people that are more out there and engage with the with yeah, I mean, technology and I mean, seeking more information. Exactly. They're the, they're, they're the people who are the advocates mm -hmm. uh, and they typically have a lot of the brighter people. They're the ones that are, you know, figuring out whether you should be using Ember.js or, right, you know, right. why are you using that old backbone yeah. stuff, <laughs> right, you know. So, yeah. so in they're internet the, minutes. They're, <laughs> you know, so they're really on top of it. The other thing is they're networkers. I mean, right. you know, appreciate you coming along in short notice and connecting with people mm -hmm. and uh, they really share the values. Um, the other thing is they tend to be uh, discerning customers, so you know in the end we're not really interested in trying to compete with other uh, commercial events, nor are we interested in competing with user group events. So in general, if there's a user group event that we can help amplify that or push it, or we can take a local speaker 
and push them out to a, to one of our conferences in another city, mm -hmm. you know, anything like that that really works to complement it. Well, and that was an interesting thing. If it looks like you go into an area and you start up um, a group, um, but in order to stay sponsor free, you charge uh, a fee to, to come to the group. Um, I recently I had always assumed groups were free, uh, but I learned that there's actually a large number of groups that charge money for membership, like a dues more than actually like a fee. Yeah, well, we, yeah, our, what we do is go to nights really just to bring one of our speakers in and do that. And we charge, I, I think in Chicago, it's we're like charging five, five, five dollars. Yeah. And the really only reason for doing that is that uh, we found it to be kind of impossible to control the, uh, the numbers. So if you're trying to get a venue and things like that. The other thing is that, you know, as the, uh, if you talk to any of our Australian users, they tell you, you know, uh, I've always gotten $35 worth of beer and pizza yeah. for my five dollars. So yeah. Um, uh, and I, I do know there's a religion among yeah. users groups, and we just decide that, from our point of view, we really can't manage the venue of the space in terms of how much, how many people are coming, and so on. And, and typically, if, if you uh, ask people for something, then you can you can kind of get a better idea of the head count numbers and things like that. But it's not it's really not the intended to be an obstacle, yeah. and it's not. A, and we don't have a sort of membership thing. We don't really spam people. Really, it's just a, just a, we really do one event a year in a city. It's a conference, and we have no other, there's no other interest. The group doesn't really exist. So typically what we're trying to do is for, we do a go tonight. The first one we're doing, we're having Justin Shee, who's the CTO of Basho, right. and key designer of React, uh, NoSQL database. Right. Uh, so he's gonna be coming here and we'll, you know, uh, Martin Logan and the, and the Erlang user group, and we're hoping they'll all be out supporting. Yeah. But we're typically what we're trying to do is, you know, meet with user groups and say, look, you know, if you've got a speaker you'd like, we might be able to get for you. And we'll try and maybe put it together. We we'll say, okay, maybe we can get the Ruby and the JavaScript guys together because occasionally they do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and say, okay, yeah, here's a speaker or two that we could bring together, and we could do a go-to night around that. Okay. And we And we would pick up the cost for the for the speaker and the event and things like that. So that's that's really the idea. That's, that's really interesting. Well, I really do hope to see uh, t May 2013 a uh, uh, go-to conference to be able to come out and, and, and uh, participate in that. But again, you know, thank you very much for, for taking the time to thank meet you with much, me. Michael. It's been great, and uh, we've had we're very pleased with the reaction in the Chicago community. We actually started doing this. I was doing a lot of work here in Chicago in, in 2009, and we uh, um, you know, got talked into this then. But you know, we got off doing some other things. But I think we're yeah. back now. So well, that's good news. All right, thank you very much.